and gentlemen, now for four episodes only, the live-action, slide-free, land-based edition of Couch Cruisers, brought to you by absolutely no one. So buckle up. So here's our 1977 Alaskan cab-over camper. I'm about to drop the top for a two-week trip, and I wanted to just do a quick how things are packed uh, in case people were interested. So here we've got the grill that's going to go in last because it's going to sit in the middle of where I need to work to drop the top. Here on the left there's pass-through storage that goes all the way to the front with the wheel well a little bit in the way. But you can get your outdoor chairs, your extra shoes, your rods and reels, that kind of stuff in that little cubby. So mostly that's outside stuff. Uh, up on top We've got room for a boat, but all we've got up there is our propane bottle right now. Yes, I know you're supposed to keep the propane bottles upright, but it fits where it fits. Moving inside, best place to keep your pots and pans is in the oven. Down here under the sink, we've got spices and uh, some of our cooking and food stuff. Down here is just the hydraulic system, and I don't want hydraulic fluid on any of my stuff, so I don't put anything down there. The fridge is stocked to capacity for the two weeks. Uh, down at the bottom, it doesn't have a latch, so I just slide this nail up through the hole, or I guess it's a screw but that keeps it in place. Oh. I'll get this in place and then show. There we go. And I just have a little piece of fishing line on there to keep it in place. I ran it overnight on electric to uh, get everything in there nice and cold. And then when we get to the campsite, I will turn it on to propane. I'll have two hours of no cooling, but everything in there is cold enough. It'll be fine. Uh, down here, just have extra food and water and that bag's got some random tools in it because you never know what you're going to need on an old camper like this. Under we've got our leveling blocks, swimming stuff, and the day trip backpack. Uh, this is a cool system my kid came up with for holding our paper towels and then up above each one of these, this is wife's clothes, my clothes, son's clothes, so nothing really there to see but our outfits. Uh, laid out in front, you've got bedding, and we got these tubs which work really good because you can just take them and throw them in front, so you're not using the front while you're camping and you're not using the back while you're driving, so it works out pretty good. And then extra foam for the uh, bed. And this is just our catch-all storage. Got some fishing regulations, you know, headlights, lighters, that kind of stuff. Finally, the biggest storage on the boat, you got to have your porta potty. Uh, we actually try not to use it because I don't like to dump it. Um, some random food, the wastewater or gray water tank, showers, toiletries, that kind of stuff. And that's about it for storage in here. And that'll get us through the 10 days. Thanks for watching. Just as I got the video done, my wife reminded me I forgot. There's storage underneath both of the seats. And we've got tons more food crammed under there. Yeah. All right, let's drop the top and hit the road. We're off to Lard Park today. <laughs>